Thank you for inviting me to participate in this meeting. It's been hard for me and the farm workers. We have been so absorbed in our own struggles that we have not participated in an active way in the battle against the war. Why do our children take up guns to go kill their brothers in faraway lands? In our case, thousands and thousands of poor brown and black farmers go off to kill other poor farm workers in Southeast Asia. Why does this happen? Perhaps they are afraid. Perhaps they have come to believe that in order to be fully a man, to gain the respect of other men, to make their way in the world, they have to take up the gun and use brute force against other men. But we are also responsible. Some husbands prove to their children that might makes right every time they beat their own wives. Some of us honor violence in sports, if not at home. We insist on our own way, we grab for security, and we trample over others in the process. But we are also responsible in a more basic way. We have not taught our children to sacrifice for justice. Say what you will about the Army, but in a time of crisis, the Army and the Navy demand hard work, discipline, and sacrifice. And so our sons go off to war, grasping for manhood at the end of a gun, trained to work and sacrifice for war. For the poor, it's a terrible irony that in order to rise up out of their misery, they have to go and kill other poor people. But what have we done to show an alternate way? Talk is cheap. Our children know it. It's the way that we organize and use our lives that tells what we believe in. Farm workers are at last struggling out of their poverty and powerlessness. They are saying no to an agricultural system that has condemned them to economic slavery. At the same time, they are creating another way of life for their children and themselves. They are taking their sacrifice and their suffering and are creating a powerful campaign for justice and dignity. Their nonviolent struggle is not soft, it's not easy, it requires hard work and discipline above all other things. So we must work every day, week after week, month after month, year after year if necessary, outlasting the opposition, using time to defeat them. That is what it takes to bring change in America today. Nothing less than disciplined, organized, non-violent action every day will challenge the power of the corporations and the generals. But people have to decide to do it. Individuals have to decide to give their lives over to the struggle for specific and meaningful social change. And as they do that, others will follow, their children will follow, the young will follow. And if we offer the young an alternative out of the energies and resources of our own lives, perhaps fewer and fewer of them will seek their manhood in affluence and war. And we, And we, together, can bring about a day when our children will learn from their very earliest days that in order to be a man, fully a man, and fully a woman, means to give one's life to the liberation of the brother who suffers. It's up to each one of us and it won't work unless we use our own lives.
to show the way. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches.